I just saw somebody pull up that I'm really excited to see. I'll show you in a second. I gotta get over there first. See. Hey folks, this is DJ Rockin' Rob, and uh, I gotta say, I'm very, very excited to be standing next to this beautiful locomotive. And uh, I, know, I know a lot of you have uh, been on pins and needles right there with me on whether or not this, uh, this train was coming to town, and uh, it finally, finally made it. It arrived a few hours ago, and yeah, we went out and had dinner, it was really great. But right now, I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. Mr. Skip Waters. Hey Robert, how's it going? It's good. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. It's so good to see you, man. I'm, I'm glad you're here, and thank you, thank you for uh, for putting together such a beautiful piece of equipment. Well, you're welcome. You, de you, you deserve it. You put this deal together, and uh, we've got it all fixed up for you. We got cars painted. We got the boots for you. We got the engine all tuned up. You got yourself a railroad. Can't be happier. No, no, I mean, uh, I, think, uh, I think we settled on a name. We're gonna call it the Cap Rock Express because Lubbock is also referred to as the Cap Rock. Right. But, uh, you know, that's, that's more information for another time. Right now, I'd like to talk about you. All right. What would you like to know, sir? <sighs> what are you in relation to the NRHS? The uh, NRHS is the National Railway Historical Society. Uh, I'm a current member of the North Texas chapter. I've been president, I'm current vice president of Trips and Events. Uh, I've also been past convention chairman of the 2008 National Convention, Lone Star Rails. And uh, I've also, but in general, I'm a rail enthusiast. So A rail fan. Yeah. You also created 24 hours at Saginaw. Yes, that's a very exciting <laughs> event. Uh, it's, it'll be our seventh year this year. Uh, it's been in the press. It was recently in the press. As, as recognized, it's been voted uh, the number one rail uh, watching event in the uh, five state area, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas. Wow. It's the number one rail watching event in that area uh, by, by a magazine. Uh, anyway, basically, we go to the depot in Saginaw, Texas, which is right next to two crossing railroad tracks, Union Pacific, BNSF. And we sit and watch, record, photograph, talk, 
you name it, trains for 24 hours. It's pretty awesome. And Robert here, he, he helped me in the early ones by donating his uh, DJ equipment. And uh, he also helped me with Lone Star Rails 2008 National Convention. Oh, yeah. That's right. I love that. He, he helped me with the... We had four uh, locations to do. That was right. massive. You did the barbecue <laughs> at 24 hours at Saginaw. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Saginaw event for the convention. And you did the audio equipment in Dallas Union Station. The TMP Station. Uh, and the TMP Station. The TMP Station. And <laughs> Dallas Union Station. And you said there was four. There's probably something else. Anyway, but you played a vital role. We appreciate that. So. It was a lot of fun, and and I uh, one of the one of the things I got to do was uh, present information about the horns. I mean, you know, this this only has a a, a bell on it, but uh, oh, <laughs> that right there is a is a, a Harbor Freight two two chime special. Right, right. That's exactly what it is. But what I'm talking about are the big horns that you would big see. Big locomotive on. horns. Yeah, like the Nathan K5 LA. Right. KH. Right. KH I, I 5 LA. I know it's Nathan 5. <laughs> and it's a five chime. Anyway, I learned a lot about the history of uh, horns and, and whistles, and uh, we had we had lots of displays. And a big air compressor to, to actually let these things go. And, right. Boy, they were loud. They were loud. They were the genuine article, so they were really loud to be right up next And to one of the fascinating things is that these horns and these whistles are not readily available anymore. I mean, they are getting scarce, like uh, the wheat penny. Yeah. Well, these particular horns that he brought up were their antique horns. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they still have them. We still have trains. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, when did you get into trackless train? Well, I was getting ready to say, I want to talk about your train. Uh, well, being a rail enthusiast, I avoided the trackless train for many years until finally I saw, uh, you know, the old timers, they're always building one of these and doing it. And I said, you know, I love playing trains. And I just went, ding, why don't I run a trackless train business so I can legally play trains for revenue, you know? But the truth, the point of it, the truth of it is, I just like playing trains. But now with the trackless train, you make it available for birthday parties, festivals, school carnivals. Um, you can sell rides by the hour. And now you get paid to play trains. That, that's what got me to do it. So uh, this particular one was the very first locomotive I acquired. I uh, got it from a man in Burleson, Texas, who put it together for his children. He was an uh, iron maker. He made this. And, uh, and then the cars that came with it had built a year ago for a Christmas uh, event I was doing because we needed extra cars. And then the caboose, which is off camera, uh, just came from Michigan and we had that updated. And so we put it all together for... Now you and I actually took a trip across the country and picked up your first complete train. That's correct. Back uh, in... 2008. 2008? Uh, 2009? I think it was 2008. I think it was 2018. It was, it was in September or August of 2000. We drove from Dallas, Texas, all the way up to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was 900 right. something miles, and uh, my, my poor old van was getting 11 miles to the gallon. Well, we were hauling that big, heavy trailer. Thanks for putting the bill on that one. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, he drove most of the way into the night through whatever sleet and snow. It wasn't sleet and snow, it was summertime, but got to Sioux Falls. Got my first train. It came with a, a different color engine, uh, similar looking cars. And you know what? I'll show you the train. Here, take a look at this. Damn, that's a beautiful train. Yeah. And, and I tried, I tried but there's no way. I, I'd have to pry it from his cold, dead Yeah, hands. no, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the old reliable. It's the, it's the main train. So you've been in, in trackless trains since 2008, right? How many trains do you have now, minus, uh, including this one? Well, I had four trains until today. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I no longer have this one because uh, Robert here has acquired it or is in the process of. I'm working on it. Yeah, um, but I have four engines. Uh, I have. I had three sets of cars. Again, I've lost a set. So I have two sets of cars, three engines now. I have three tenders, because I hope to build another set. But uh, I'm really hoping to get more. I, 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 I want to have 10 trains someday. But right now, I'm back down to two, thanks to you, Robert. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, Skip, thank you so much, man. You're I really, welcome. I really appreciate you exposing me to the uh, the train phenomena because you know all that I am with trains is all because of you. I can trace it down to just you. All right, well, it's all your fault. That's true. But th the truth is, as soon as he got behind the wheel of one of these things, he dresses the part. He has a. Can you say hello on YouTube? Hell of a lot more fun than I do on this train. I wonder who's having the better time. But no problem, Robert. You really enjoy it. Think, I think honestly that just becomes because you're the owner of the train and I'm just the operator. Yeah. So I get to play the part. I, I get to play the part yeah. you want to play, but you're Mr. Know, Boss. When I turn you loose with it, you just take off and have a good time. So and You guys know all about that. You've seen my videos. You've seen the videos, yeah. He loves the trackless train, <laughs> but I do too. Anyway, I'm real happy that you get to have this train, Robert. Uh, I can't think of a better person to, to uh, offer this to, and uh, it's happy for you. Thanks. Good job. I can't wait to make you proud. Oh, well, you, you already are. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see the videos. You know. Skip Waters, Dallas, Texas, ChooChooExpress.com. That's right. ChooChooExpress.com. Check it out. The photos are a little low, but we'll get them updated, hopefully, by the time you watch this video. Maybe we can get a shot of this. Yeah. Because it would be, we'll be Choo Choo Express. West Coast. Dot Lubbock. <laughs> yeah. West, West Coast. Right. Or West Texas. Yeah, West Texas. West Texas. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.